sitting here almost in the trunk of the golf mobile. Fairview Mountain Golf Club in Oliver, great looking course. I mean, I'm really looking forward to today. But my playing partner, who hates the cold, is not going to be happy. He hasn't arrived yet. There's a north wind. It feels like about minus one. You can look at those flags on the driving range in the background. They're really flapping. So anyways, we're going to go out. We haven't seen each other for 16 years. That's what golf's all about, is playing with friends and sharing old memories. Uh, so we'll catch up with you from Fairview Mountain. Uh, I think you'll enjoy what I'm going to show you today. I just want to make a few bars and enjoy my friend's company. So uh, get back to you soon. There's the ultimate Montreal Canadian fan, my good friend John Cack from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. With his golf hab laces? He's even got Habs laces in his shoes. We've rendezvoused after 16 years apart here in Oliver, British Columbia at Fairview Mountain Golf Club for a day of golf. Well, from the parking lot to the tee, five minutes. John doesn't want to hit it practice shot, he doesn't want to chip, he doesn't want to putt, he just wants to get the hell out there and get it over with. It's that cold and windy. We'll get through it, we'll enjoy it. It looks good even on a cloudy day here. So I'll only come back to you when one of us has actually made a par. Here at Fairview Mountain Golf Club, Oliver, BC. Well, long doesn't hurt you, John, because the bank up there will hold it up. Talk about the shit over there. Keep yeah. Going it though. Oh, I it. That'll play, Jay. That's okay. Good shot, John. On in two. Kick down. Come on. Oh, beauty, John. Look at this going right towards the hole. Get in. Get in. Oh, you just about hold out. Take some of the steam out of it. Well, we've made it here to the fifth hole. I said I'd report to you after a par. Well, I've had three of the first four holes. John's moving along quite nicely. A couple of three putts, but that's just early days. He's only five over himself, so we're having a great start to our game. We're on a long par five here, both down the middle. See what we can get out of this hole. Maybe there's a birdie to be had already. Well, put two pars down on that par three hole. The tenth across that ravine, 147 yards. John and I were both 15 feet away. Just missed our birdies, but tapped in for pars. First hole today, we both parred. Great day out. Sun's come out. It's warm. Really fabulous out. Have been extraordinaire, as I am too. We're wearing red have logos everywhere, of course. We're on the 12th tee at Fairfield Golf Club. I just birdied the par 5, number 11. John just looked out and made par, so we've gone par, par, par birdie for the first two holes on the back nine. Having a great day. We've got a short par 4. We've caught up with the group in front of us, so we're just chilling, eh, John? Yeah, just chilling, Bill. Having a coffee and a tea. we got food and chips and other different things. It's like we got a freaking picnic here. So anyways, <laughs> we'll report back to you when John gets his birdie and uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Well, we've just come off of the 15th, the par three behind me. Again, over a little valley, big, huge green. Flag was right at the back. John and I were both one club short. I had a 65 footer for birdie. John had a 48 footer. What's the result, folks? Two pars. Two pars, as my friend just said, two one-foot tap-ins. Couldn't get that much talent on the PGA Tour. <laughs> well, we're all done here at Fairview Mountain Golf Club in Oliver. We didn't finish really that good. The wind beat the heck out of us. Me with an 85, John with a 91, but two old friends having a great game of golf. I made a birdie, finally, one that I can boast about. A um, few pars, but fabulous course. Some of the nicest people I've ever met in the golf industry. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next review.